All right, guys, I got some new props from God Heli RC. They've sent me these new durable uh, HQ props. Um, now, I'm going to be comparing these, the three blade ones I have here. I have the regular HQ props. These are uh, five by four and a half by three blade props. These are the new durable. Um, 5 by 4.6 by 3. Um, now the thing I noticed about these is that they're more flexible than the uh, regular props. The, the, the regular props are actually kind of stiff. So I guess with their new durable props, the approach they're taking is that when it hits something, it's going to bend like that out of the way instead of break. See? So I don't know. We'll see what happens with these. I'm going to put them on and I'm going to be doing some testing. I've got my new Galley Eclipse E28R that I'm going to be using because this is right now my favorite quad and the best tuned one I have. So it'll be easy to just put the props on and just check some things without dealing with PID issues. Um, I've also got these um, five by four and a half bull nose props from Dahl. Um, DAL doll so these are also very hard and stiff um, just like the uh, regular regular HQ props except for I believe these are nylon props and the doll props are polycarbonate so these really are really really hard to break the doll props but um, along with that you can end up damaging your motor so I'm curious to find out you know how these compared to these because I know I've damaged a few motors with doll props in the past I'm thinking the HQ prop method because these ones are also um, let me get one out of the bag here these ones are also quite flexible so um, I'm thinking this prop method where it might bend out of the way of objects when it hits this might end up with a more durable prop though I have a feeling we'll be losing some thrust because of it, but we'll see. So here's my quad after that first crash with the doll props. Um, they're dirty and a little nicked up in a few spots, but they're not broken, that's for sure. I really don't know what caused that. I think I had an RC glitch or something that caused me to just kind of dive into the ground. Okay, so now I've got the HQ DP 5x4.6 props on.
Okay, so after that last crash, this is what I found. The battery tray had come undone, but nothing's broken. I don't have, I got some grass in the prop, but uh, nothing broke, everything's, nothing's chipped up or anything. I just got a little close to the ground on that last pass and I tumbled into it and cut the throttle, so um, doesn't look like anything got cut up by the props. And uh, overall, the quad's still in one piece, so. Uh, as far as how the, the props flew, these uh, HQ props did seem to have a little bit less overall top end speed than the doll props. But these doll props at full throttle seemed a lot more uh, in control. Like there was a little bit of wobble and kind of, um, I guess a little bit of drift and wobble when I was at full throttle with these. But the doll props held nice and straight. So, um, like I was saying before, with these being able to bend out of the way, it leaves them flexible, which leaves a little bit of room for them to move around, so they're not going to be as precise. Alright, so now I've got the HQ 5x4.5x3 blade props installed, and uh, these are the regular ones. They're stiff, and they break pretty easily, so... I'll try these at full throttle and then next we'll try the uh, more durable ones and see how they compare. So here's my quad after that last crash. I don't know. It looks like um, the, the one of the crashes before that screwed up my lipo because after charging it and flying it here, when I retrieved it after the crash, it's just super poofed. That top cell. I don't know. It's just really, really puffy. So that's okay, no good so now anymore. I have the more durable props from HQ installed. These are the five by four point six by three blade props.
Okay, so I'm back at home and I have the HQ more durable props installed and I'm going to run this through my home course. Um, now I can't go incredibly fast through this because there's a lot of obstacles to avoid, which is where I think these kind of props are going to come in really handy. This is where I think I'm going to prefer to use these props. So we'll see what happens when they hit all these obstacles and stuff and see if they break. Um, out in the wide open, I mean they were good, but at high throttle, like 80 to 100%, they became a little bit unstable compared to the more rigid props. Not a big deal, but like I said, I think this is where they're going to shine, is in a place where there's a lot of obstacles and you know you're going to crash. So, and, and also you can't go at full throttle the whole time, so we'll see what happens. Well guys, unfortunately I crashed twice before I realized that my Fat Shark goggles didn't have a memory card in it for the DVR. Um, but I did catch the third and final crash that ripped the blade off this prop. So it took three uh, good crashes into brush and debris to finally rip off a prop. All right, the more durable HQ props. These are the three blade ones. Let's see how long they last. Alright, well it looks like the magic number on those is two. Two crashes into a hardwood uh, wheelbarrow handle. So that's pretty good. Any one crash would have broke a regular HQ prop. So yeah, they're a little more durable, but um, they're not indestructible. When you're talking about the doll props, I've crashed those around here enough to know that they kind of just get mangled. So while they may not break, they also start to not spin true and wobble and do weird things as well as damage your uh, bearings and stuff from not breaking so yeah I think this is a pretty good balance in between so I like them for something more durable like around here rather than the HQ props a little bit of less thrust maybe but overall I think I like them for the durability aspect